we got this all in. Blessings on blessings on blessings. No longer do I be stressing. I'm in the crib reminiscing of a time once where I had pent up aggression. Lessons on lessons on lessons. I had to let that shit go. Pineapples, how the fuck y'all doing? <laughs> Give it up for all the comments tonight, man. There's some funny motherfuckers here. Some motherfuckers that are funny that are still to come. So yeah, um, I haven't done comedy in a while. I actually had to switch my work schedule just to come back here. So it's all good. Like I might bomb, but even if I do, it's all good. Because if I bomb, if y'all can't talk about a beard, I get 72 virgins. <laughs> So it kind of sucks, like I get off at 8 and this is when the comedy show starts So the last few weeks that I tried to come, I couldn't even sign up Like I get penalized for being late, shit is whack But a lot of great things happen as a result of being late Alright, like for example, if my dad wasn't late pulling out, I wouldn't even be here So um I don't know, man. I feel like I belong to the old school generation of people. Like, where are my old people at? All the people in here are young. I haven't seen any old people. But, nah, for real. Like, young people, I just don't understand them. You know, they they always want to, like, be manipulative, coercive about certain things. They don't always want to tell the direct truth. Like, they'll say things like, hey, do you want to come over and Netflix and chill? <laughs> How many of y'all heard that? Y'all ever heard that saying before? Yep, yep. Any of y'all online daters? I can't stand that shit, man. Like, why not just be honest about what you want? Mm -hmm. Like, hey girl, can you come over? We're gonna watch some Hulu and then I'm gonna fuck you. <laughs> we could watch Netflix and then drop a sex flicks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Amazon Prime, Amazing Time, <laughs> Tubi, let me see that side, booby. <laughs> <laughs> and I like older women too though I don't discriminate, you know what I'm saying So hey girl, you wanna watch some blockbuster And then I'm gonna hit you with that cock thruster <laughs> And then also not just That, but also Other things like dating For example, older people Back in the day They wanted to actually be romantic. Like if you were to compare dating from the 1950s to today, it's like we went from a romance movie to a horror film. <laughs> Shit is crazy, man. Back in the day, girls wanted to like hold hands, romance, cuddle. Now all females want to do is get choked and tortured by some guy they call daddy. <laughs> I don't get that shit. I really fucking don't. I was dating this girl, right? And she was like, oh yeah, everything's good, but it's just the sex. And I'm like, what, is my dick small? She's like, no. Then I'm like, what is it? She's like, oh, you're just not rough enough. And I'm like, what the hell do you mean? She's like, I like it rough. And I'm just thinking in my head, like, cause I'm a very imaginative person. I'm just thinking like, all right, we getting that and she, you know, I'm, I'm doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing the power stroke. And then she's just like, harder. Or slap me. I'm like, okay. Psh, harder. Psh. You hit like a fucking bitch. The fuck did you just say? Bitch, I hit kind of hard. And then I just, boom. And then she knocked out like this. And for me to finish, I gotta do some Bill Cosby shit. Uh, <laughs> Shit's fucked up, man. Speaking of Bill Cosby, man. How the fuck did he get out? God damn. He's fucking out now, man. And the shit's crazy with Bill Cosby, though, right? Because Bill Cosby, like, he's not, like, a fucked up person. You know what I'm saying? Like, if um, the baby did some shit he did, I'd be like, okay. He's on some fucked up shit. But Bill Cosby, like, the man's a fucking comedic legend. And he's also a fucking doctor. You know what I'm saying? Like, he has a PhD. He went to school and got a PhD. Like, and not only did he earn a PhD, he also helped some other people earn PhDs, including some of his victims. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. 
Like the way he would do that is he would give them a drink. And if you know anything about acids and bases, that drink would raise their pH. And when they fall asleep, that's when Cosby would give them the D. <laughs> So um, in terms of current events, I've seen that um, the whole Johnny Depp, Amber Heard trial. Oh like, I just want you to know if I'm a data chick, she's got to do a psych eval before I even want to date her. Like, I'm sorry with that Jada Smith and Amber Heard shit, I'm just terrified of dating. So, you know what I'm saying? And you got to pay for it. Yeah. But the thing with, like, <laughs> with Amber Heard is, like, after her and Johnny Depp broke up, she was dating Elon Musk. Yeah. You guys heard about that? Oh man, this family is so good. I'm scared right here. <laughs> but I'm still dating Elon Musk, and I felt like they should have started a company together. Like any good couple should start a company together, right? And um, you know what that company would be called? Shitter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm bitching the dice. Prefer precise. Now I am goat Billy the price. Down in the desk, but I'm dreaming of peace. Barely hope I may morph most my madness to ease. Clean to crap. Clutters release and let go, or you might just create a disease.